Hello everyone. Welcome back to the new video of the Pharmacovigilance series. Today we will go through the important questions and answers frequently asked in interview for pharmacovigilance. Most common and frequently asked questions are What is adverse drug reaction and what is adverse drug event? What is the difference between these two? So we'll see adverse drug reaction first. Adverse drug reaction is a response to a drug which is noxious and unintended and which occurs at a dose normally used in human for prophylaxis, diagnosis, or therapy of disease, or for the modification of physiological function. This is the definition of an adverse drug reaction. In simple language, adverse drug reactions are always suspected to be due to the drug. Examples of adverse drug reactions are anticoagulants caused bleeding and paracetamol cause hepatotoxicity. In both the example you can suspect, the drug can cause the adverse reactions. Now let's move to adverse drug event. Adverse drug event is any untoward medical occurrence that may present during treatment with drug, but which does not necessarily have a casual relationship with the drug. In simple language, adverse drug events are not necessarily due to the drug, which means in adverse drug events no need to have casual relationship with drug. So the key difference between adverse drug reaction and adverse drug events is casual relationship with the drug. If casual relationship is related or suspected due to the drug, it's called as adverse drug reaction. And if casual relationship is may or may not be suspected due to the drug, it's called as adverse drug event. So to understand the concept behind adverse drug reaction and adverse drug event, you just need to know the difference between adverse drug reaction and adverse drug event. Now let's move to next confusing and most commonly asked terms in interview. These terms are drug abuse and drug misuse. First we will discuss what is drug abuse. When person takes prescription drug to get pleasant feeling. In this person especially took higher dose than prescribed and looking to get high. Now move to drug misuse. When person not following medical instruction while taking drug. In this person may take higher dose but not with intention to get high. Example of drug misuse is patient prescribed with sleeping pills. However, after taking pill, patient was unable to sleep. So he or she took one more pill an hour later taking first pill, thinking this will do a job. Another example of drug misuse is person offer his headache medication to friend who was in pain. So the key difference between drug abuse and drug misuse is intention. For both drug abuse and drug misuse patient took higher dose of the medication than prescribed or normal dose. However, if intention of taking high dose is to get high, it's called drug abuse. And if intention of taking high dose is not to get high, it's called drug misuse. I have covered many important terms and definition which were frequently asked in interview in my previous videos, like definition of pharmacovigilance, what is report in pharmacovigilance, what is type of reports in pharmacovigilance, what is solicited reports in pharmacovigilance, what are unsolicited reports in pharmacovigilance, what is medically confirmed report in pharmacovigilance? What is medically not confirmed report in pharmacovigilance? What is validity criteria and valid report in pharmacovigilance? What is invalid report in pharmacovigilance? Who is healthcare professionals in pharmacovigilance? Who is non-healthcare professionals in pharmacovigilance? Please check the description to get answers of all these questions. That's it for today. If you found this information helpful, please do share with your friends, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Please provide your inputs in comment sections. Thank you.